all right hello everyone welcome to my channel mr ade Ayobet. so in today's uh, video i'm going to show you guys some particular tools that i use for predicting my games sometimes and uh, these uh, predictions are mostly dropped on our telegram channel and uh, in the last uh, video or let me say in one of the last videos that i dropped on this particular channel uh, some of you guys were telling me to you know i uh, show you guys the uh ai tools that i'm currently using to predict some of these games and of recent i've discovered that this particular stores can actually predict core score perfectly but just that it can depend on you know uh, it can only predict this particular core score to some extent and not every time because core score happens to be one of the hardest best markets to go for so uh you guys have been disturbing me about what is the name of this particular ai tools i'm going to tell you guys in this particular videos actually i don't when it comes to using this particular tools i don't focus on just one i make use of two and these two are what i'm going to show you guys in this particular video and also you guys are asking me about the prompt actually the prom prompting of this particular stuff depends and it is not the way that you guys are really uh, uh it is not like so it's not like the one that you guys are really aware of because i've seen like three people sending this particular uh, prompt to me and uh, before i move on to uh this particular AI tools that i use actually first uh this particular uh, prompt is used for a uh, chat gpt uh chat gpt which happens to be truly the ai tools that's one of the ai tools that i'm currently using and uh, sending to the group and uh, as you guys have been requesting for the name of the ai2 so this particular ai2 is very very common and uh, among students and many people like that people use it very well there's a website for it and there is app for it so this is the app that i'm using for it so but the only thing that is there is that so the only problem now is that you prompting your uh, ai stores in this particular way may not accurately give you the correct or perfect outcome predictions the only and uh, one of the problem there is just that you know are you prompted that okay let us assume that you are editing this particular date to be the date of the match that you want and uh, another problem that is there is just that there is a particular place that is talking about uh telling ai to that it will understand how each team uh play and uh you telling it that you send it uh send the stuff the team and the stuff like that the problem there is just that if you happens to be using this particular tool which is chat gpt and you want to provide uh, it with a good prompt to you know uh, to give you some predictions one thing that you need to do is to provide it with stats also and doing this will be very very stressful so uh you know asking for prompts you can actually create prompts yourself depending on you there's nothing like it. maybe there is a special prompt or something like that but if i should be showing you guys the prompt in this particular video surely it may affect the monetization process of this particular channel because uh the the system does not really uh allow anything like manipulation of stuff because when you are using uh when i'm showing you guys how the prompt work in this particular video there will be a motion from the chat gpt tools and this will be flagged from the youtube uh system so but one thing about this is just that using this particular uh prompt is not actually good enough actually to some extent it is very okay but and to some another extent uh, i will not advise you guys to keep on using this particular prompt so now looking uh into the second ai tools that i use this happens to be copy lot i don't know if uh many of you guys uh, are aware of this particular ai tool copy lot it is also working very well this particular tool can actually create image and so many more it can do so many things compared to that of chat gpt uh but chat gpt happens to be the most popular among students and you know adults and many people like that but this particular one uh it is not really you know common among uh individuals because uh, i actually got to know this particular tools through microsoft all right so uh and some people are already complaining about you know using ai tools to predict games and yet is not really working out so well you can actually apply comparison of two ai uh tools together and uh, to you know to evaluate the outcome from, and the comments from it because looking at this particular one you can see that some of the correct score predictions from this particular ai stores actually were correct 
are based on what I'm currently having here and in some of the weekend games that we have yesterday and the same thing happens in the it uh, Italia Serie A games whereby another correct score occurred and we also have another one under the second Bundesliga that actually played so well so three correct score in just a day using the AI frames but to find out the one that is very accurate can be very hard so I would not advise you guys to go for correct score games in it so now this is what you just need to do when it comes to using the AI source uh, in your games and if you look at this particular comment from uh, the one I use which is copilot and if you look at the first game that we have here one thing about this copilot is that when you provide it with the right prompt and the right information surely it will give you the right answer looking at it you can see that surely for me when I was looking at the game it told me uh, using the other uh, okay compared to using the other AI tool if you look at this very well and if you try to read through the comments uh, you guys will see that it said Cagliari has shown decent form recently with a strong defense and attacking progress. Bologna, on the other hand, has been inconsistent. A double chance or Cagliari, uh, a double chance on Cagliari or a draw seems likely a safe bet. Actually, if you look at this very well, uh, in the last previous games of the away team, which happens to be Bologna, they have not been consistent with their results because I don't know what's wrong with their form. And uh, looking at the home team, though, in the last maybe probably 10 games for the home teams they were not really that performing so well but in the last five games that they played except that they lost the last game they have been doing well so now if you look at it very well uh, the home team actually seems to have the upper hand in this particular game but unfortunately i'm also afraid if i should go for this kind of a game because uh, the away team which is belong that they are you know they are also a strong team probably there's a other factors that can influence the game to end in the other way around so I would not advise you guys to always go for games like this uh, because I'm still going to show you guys the comments uh, on the other AI tools that that one also made. So this is what I'm talking about. This uh, this one is on chat uh, GPT and uh, if you look at it very well, this one is actually favoring the away team which is Bologna and also emphasizing on uh, a straight draw. You know. Looking at the reason that this was clown one is giving, Bologna has shown solid form recently, especially defensively. Cagliari, on the other hand, has struggled to secure wins. Actually, they are they are winning truly, but they can. It seems like they are struggling to secure those wins. But to me, I can see that this particular match is contradicting with the other AI tools. But let us jump to the second game, which happens to be Leeds versus Verona. This one actually predicted the game as both teams to score, and also gave the scoreline to be one one and 2-1 that is favoring the home team which is Leeds and it also gave the reason behind this because he said Leeds has been really uh, relatively consistent in scoring at home while Verona form is unpredictable but they tend to score away so a both team to score wager seems a good bet here but if you look at it very well they are highly leaning on the away team uh, on the home team which happens to be Leeds and if you are to look for the uh, uh if you are to look into the other AI tools that I'm using so, which is our copilot uh, if you guys look at it we have both teams have okay we have both teams have had mixed results least as a slightly edge playing at home but verona defense can be tough to break down a low scoring match could be on the cards maybe a draw or a slight edge for the list if you look at the score uh, the goal lines of the of the two ai's uh, predictions you guys can see that the ai stops cannot always be also perfect the other one says both teams to score and this one says it looks though actually it does not say that a both teams to score will not occur in this particular game but probably maybe one one or two one or maybe probably we are not expecting too much of goals in this particular match actually but the two ai subs are leaning on the home team which happens to be least uh most uh uh collectively rather so if you look at this particular game i'll just try and go for the home team which happens to be least to win this particular game or draw even though sports games can be unpredictable sometimes but we should be expecting least to either win this particular game or draw so now looking on to the next game which happens to be ac milan versus napoli this particular game happens to be the one that interests me the most because if you look at it very well this particular one uh if you don't forget don't mistake this particular two ai choose together we have the one for uh we have the one which is chat gpt i'm very sure many of you are really aware of this one and you are aware of a very common uh, prompt that you guys use on it but actually the prompt may not be always perfect so now 
if you look at this, we have AC Milan versus Napoli. This is the uh, in this particular match, AC Milan has has been in good form, but Napoli's attack is always dangerous. Okay, express goals in this one, both teams to score. Okay, seems likely and perhaps a slight edge to AC Milan, giving their own advantage. Okay, looking at the home advantage alone, okay, it's not enough. And uh, if you are to check the other AI tools, which happens to be charge GPT. All right, so this is the second AI tool, which happens to be charge GPT, and the prediction on that also happens to be both team to score and over 2.5 goals. So if you look at the score line, it happens to be 2-2 or 2-1 to either side. But and if you look at the score line also, don't forget on the other AI tools that we say uh, we just uh, check down, which is Capilot. Uh, you can see that they also, you know, uh, prefer the home team to win this particular game based on the home advantage. Actually, also, I like predicting my games on home team advantage most times. So, they are expecting the home team to win this particular game or draw or, you know, but at least, surely, they are expecting both teams to score in this particular game. So, this is the reason why I say that if you are trying to compare the two AI teams together by using the same prompts on there, they are going to give you similar predictions on games and those similar predictions are what i mostly like to go for and looking at the reason that this particular ai choose is given this is likely to be a high stakes attacking game ac milan and napoli both have quality attackers and tends to perform well in big matches go from both sides look probably here so it is very easy to make use of this particular tools but the only thing is just that how you prompt your message to get your information and don't always base your uh, base your prompt alone on uh, giving the AI to his list of predictions alone and looking into it. But one thing about the, uh, these tools that I noticed uh, is that provide the tools with uh, the right prompt and the right information so that it will give you the right answer. And there are some prompts that you are going to give some uh, AI tools and they will be giving you different answers. So make sure that you are careful of that so that you won't make wrong predictions. And also. Uh, people asking and you know are seriously requesting for this was clear prompt and AI stops I don't really like uh, to advise you guys to only rely on using of AI tools because they are AI they cannot always be perfect compared to that of human stops because uh, we human we are uh, when we are you know relying on our own strategy and we look into uh, in-depth start of games surely you should be able to predict games accurately yourself compared to this particular soft ai but the only games that i can recommend you guys or the only sports that i can recommend you guys to start using this particular tools for happens to be basketball because of its pass uh, fast paced games play you know basketball can be unpredictable sometimes and games like that they score very well you know it, it is not a game of maybe 2-0 3-0 10-0 it is a game of having 75, 85, 99 and even over 100 from both sides. Home team having over like 120, away team having 130. So it is a game that they score at a fast pace. So you can go for that one because of its unpredictable nature. But when it comes to football, um, ice hockey and games that involve a very low scoring point like below 20, I would just advise you guys to make sure that you rely mostly on your own uh, uh, predicting ab ability. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Don't forget to join our VIP groups uh, in order to get daily tips and daily information about new updates about our strategies. So thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.